Hey guys, it's Miss Kelso. I'm here today to be showing you another activity. The activity that I will be showing you today is called Salt Art. The supplies that you will need to do this project is glue, salt, some black or dark paper. This is called cardstock, so it's thicker. Some watercolors. A paintbrush and some water. The first step will be choosing your design. Today I think I'm going to make a jellyfish. So what you do is you take your glue and you start drawing your design out with your glue. It kind of works a little better if um, you have more of a thinner glue. It won't take as long to dry, so keep that in mind. The thicker your glue is, the longer it'll take to dry. I just kind of take this glue and draw out your little design. Whatever you want. That a jellyfish would be fun because then it can be colorful. And then my leggy here. Add some background details if you want. Maybe give him some designs on the inside. Little flowers. Oof, that was too much. It's okay though. And then maybe some bubbles. Now keep in mind, whatever you don't put glue on won't have color on it. So your next step after you get your design all pumped out is to take your salt and to pour it all over your glue. So you're going to want to pump out a lot of salt. I'm going to put a lot of salt on that. So Once you've dumped all the salt onto your picture and covered up all the glue spots, the next part you're going to want to do is take your picture and dump the excess salt off into the trash, not onto the floor. You're going to want to shake it a little bit just to get all that salt off. Once you've shaken all the extra salt off, you can actually start painting. You don't have to wait for the glue to dry. So you take your water. And the trick here is you're going to want to get your watercolors really, really, really wet. Uh, to the point where you're almost dripping your color onto the painting. So you're just going to touch it. And then the color should start to spread onto the painting. And you don't need to push hard. You just barely dab your paintbrush onto the painting, onto the glue. Switch up some colors here. And a little periwinkle. It's like periwinkle. And you're going to be want to be very gentle. Otherwise, you may mess your glue up just a bit. Because it's not dry. So remember that. Just dabbing on that color.
So once you finish painting your salt art, it should look something like this. Now this can take up to 24 hours to dry. Um, how long it takes to dry depends on how much glue you use. Use less glue, it'll dry quicker. Use more glue, it'll take longer to dry. I did do one a couple days ago just to kind of feel it out. And for an example, this is what it looks like when it's all done. It's nice and solid. The salt's not gonna come off. And it's pretty cool. Um, this is something that's super fun to display in your home or it'd be a really nice gift for someone. And the creativity that you can do with this project is unlimited. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Thanks so much.